All right, now that we know how to solve our system of equations, let's look at some word problems, create our systems of equations, and then solve them. So systems of equations, word problems. All right, again, our systems of equations are two or more linear equations. So for these word problems, our steps are going to be one, to define your variables. Um, I want to see that you have put this letter, whatever you choose, equals this, whatever we're trying to solve for. And then we're going to set up our two equations, and then we're going to solve them. So we're going to go through all the same steps from the last um, systems of equations once we have figured out how to write our equations. All right, let's look at an example. Gabby bought a total of 20 used books and CDs during a yard sale for a total of $54.50. If the books cost $1.50 and the CDs cost $5 each, how many of each did she buy? Okay, so we need to know how many books she bought and how many CDs she bought. So those are our variables. Those are what we're trying to find. So step one was define your variables. So let's do that. I'm going to choose easy things. You can use X and Y. You can use anything random, just as long as you define it. You have to write it down. You have to tell yourself and me what these letters mean. So I'm going to use B for books, and I'm going to use C for CDs. I'm really creative here. All right, here's our example. Step two was setting up our two equations. We're going to use our information given to set up our two equations. We were told that we were given 20 used books and CDs. So together, combined, how many of her books she bought, how many of her CDs she bought, the total amount was 20. So then that means that B, books, plus C equals 20. So that's going to be our first equation. Next, we were told that the books cost 150, how many ever she bought, plus the CDs costing $5 each, how many ever she bought. The total of that was 5450. So that's going to be our second equation is the cost of the books times how many ever she bought plus the cost of the CDs plus how many ever she, or times how many ever she bought equals the total amount. And that makes sense if you think about um, when you are buying something at the grocery store, um, how it's calculated is if you've bought five packs of gum, you multiply that by the cost. And then if you bought two sodas, you multiply that by the cost and then you add them together to get your total. That's all we're doing here. Just because it's in words, it's don't make it more complicated than it is, okay? All right, step three, we are going to solve these systems. So here's our systems, let's solve them. So let's go through all the same steps we did. So we're solving one equation for a variable. I chose the first one because it's the easiest. We don't got to divide anything. All we got to do is subtract one of these variables and put it on the other side. So let's subtract the C and solve for B. So B equals 20 minus C. All right. Step two was substituting it into the second equation. And then step three, I'm combining these. Solve for the variable. So if B equals 20 minus C, I'm going to substitute that into my second equation. So now I have 1.5 times 20 minus C plus 5C equals 54.50. And now I'm just going to solve this for C to get C by itself. So remember, you have to distribute that 1.5 to both the 20 and the negative C. So then we get 30 minus 1.5 C. Don't change that variable this time. Plus 5 C equals 54.50. All right. 
combine my terms. So we got 30 plus 3.5C equals 5450. I'm still trying to get C by itself. So it's being added 30. So let me subtract it from both sides, from both sides. So then we're left with 3.5C equals 2450. Right now it's being multiplied, C is being multiplied by 350 or 3.5. I need to divide that out because I'm doing opposite operations. So C equals seven. You know how to solve equations. That's why I'm going really fast through it. All right, step four was, again, substitute the answer into either original equation to find the other variable. So this time we've, we had already found C. Now we need to find B. So C was seven. So if I put it into that first equation, because that's probably the easiest one, B plus seven equals 20. So subtract seven from both sides to solve for B and get B by itself. B is 13. What was the last most important step? Check your answer. So we got C equals seven and B equals 13. Checking my answer, I need to plug it into the equation I haven't used. I'm plugging both the C and the B that I got. So, so 13 plus seven equals 20, 20 equals 20. Yes, that works out. Okay, you're gonna have a couple of these word problems to pull your variables out, to write your equations, and then to solve your equations. Let me know when you have questions.